really hard to function when it's super cold and windy but the views are really really nice so I just got here to Banff today this is like my first day here and I've come to one of my favorite lakes Bow Lake obviously it's a really nice place for pictures you know there's a lot more snow here than there is in Banff so I was kind of surprised how much snow there is here but I'm quite happy about that and I'm gonna set up to take some pictures here while the lights still kind of nice and you can actually see the mountains because when I arrived there were just clouds all over and you couldn't even see the top of the peaks and now it's kind of clearing up and it's looking much much better so I'm gonna get it set up I think I'm gonna start with a taking a wide shot angle right here behind me kind of including a little bit of the rocks here with the snow and all the, the mountains behind me and then I'm gonna switch to my telephoto lens and just kind of take some pictures isolating different you know peaks with the 100 to 400 I think it'd be really nice to kind of zoom in on the mountains and try to get uh, some interesting shots this way so it's really really nice you know I always thought this would be a good place for sunrise but today since uh, I arrived after sunrise I thought I'd come here for sunset I don't know how sunset is gonna be but I'm gonna take some pictures right now because the light is really nice and we'll see what happens I'm gonna go get set up I just finished processing a long exposure here and it was about uh, two minutes uh, two, two minutes and 50 seconds for my shot with a 10 stop and defilter just so smooth out the choppy water of the lake and I have the same composition of the, the pebbles with the snow that you see right there and with the mountain across and if this was a calm lake it'd be nice to have a nice reflection but today it's kind of the water is choppy so Automatically, I thought it'd be good to do a long exposure and with the two minutes and 50 seconds it's plenty of time to make sure the water is really smooth and it makes it really really nice and there's a lot of interesting stuff happening in the clouds although I'm focusing more on the mountain and the foreground rather than the sky that's what's nice about a place that has such a wide view is that you can pick out so many compositions if I look to my right to my left it's all really really interesting so I got this shot in the bag, I'm gonna see what else I can take a picture of here. Probably using the same setup, you know, just with the polarizer and the ND filter, doing a long exposure. And then I'll probably switch to my telephoto lens to my 100 to 400 and just kind of take pictures of the individual peaks, you know. They look really, really nice with the atmosphere of the clouds. I, you know, the light's really nice, there's no light projecting on the peaks but there's nice light on the clouds you know so I better get to it and try to find some other composition. I think I'll take two more pictures with my wide-angle lens one looking this way and one looking that way and then I would put on the telephoto lens so I'm gonna go do that right now So I just set up my second shot, I'm also doing a long exposure here, same time, f11, probably about 2 minutes and uh, 2 minutes and it's actually about 3 minutes and 24 seconds with the 10 stop and D because the light is dropping. So this is, I'm going to take my second shot here and it's more of all the peaks that you see across there so it looks really really nice composition, I think it's going to turn out nice and you know. We'll see, I'm like super wide, I'm at like 20 millimeters, I'm taking this picture. And we'll see how it looks. Ready to take the picture right now. Quick, start my timer, got about 3 minutes and 20 seconds to get this picture. I think it's gonna look really, really nice. And then I'll move on to take my third picture looking in the opposite direction I think that would be nice as well and depending on how I feel from it is kind of colder here than the Montreal and 
might, like I said, get my fellow photo lens and snap some uh, tight shots of the peak. That would be really, really nice. But this is what I love about places like this, where you can get so much pictures in the same location, you know, and you have so much options to ch choose from as for compositions. Yeah, really, really nice. And very calming. This was such an exciting day, like just hopping on a plane, flying four hours to come here, driving all the way up here. Super, super nice, super exciting. It makes it feel like such a big rush, you know. But the uh, creative juice is flowing for sure. And I think what I'm gonna do after is probably head back, get some wine. Oh, feels gonna feel good. Always good to finish wine after a day of photo shoots, especially in a place like this, you know. I'm excited. Getting kind of cold. So I'm gonna move on to my third composition that I had in mind. Kind of looking back that way. And take a few pictures with my telephoto lens. And then go back to the car. Blast the heater on and warm up. It is kind of cold actually, but beautiful Woo. so I got my third shot set up got a polarizer on and I'm about to put my 10 stop and D filter to do long exposure as well so shooting at ISO 50 I like f8 right now because the light is dropping so I don't want a really long exposure like the last one I'm gonna try to get one really quick and and we'll see what happens, you know. Got about a 2 minute, 50 second exposure to get the shot. And there's no, there's not that color anymore in the sky. It's, the sky is kind of gray, but it's kind of nice to the mood. I think this would look really nice as a black and white or as color. I think I'll decide that later when I go back in the computer and look at these images. But uh, either way, it's beautiful. And not really including this white foreground. I'm just including the water that's streaming in to my right and exiting left. It's kind of in my foreground. And there's like that little line of rocks right here. I don't know if you can see that. The line of rocks with a bit of the snow. It just kind of cuts into my frame really nicely. And it just uh, throws mountains across. That's kind of my composition. It's looking uh, really, really nice. Oh man. I changed my lens quick. There's some gorgeous light happening behind me. Like I said, I'm gonna put my telephoto lens. Try to get to some pictures of that. I'm gonna move quick. So I might not talk a lot about this picture. Just get some tight shots, maybe just the polarizer. And just my 100 to 400 look really, really nice. Let's do that. It's gonna good. Just want to set up the photo lens and take some pictures so this is actually kind of moving quick before the light goes and I'm making this really really simple just a polarizer on the camera probably zoom in tight on the peaks and take some pictures of that let's go oh man I feel so bad for like five minutes the light was behind me which is really gorgeous on the peaks and I set up my camera really really fast the telephoto lens it's like all the way at 400 millimeter and what happened is I mean I got set up and got my composition kind of the light is gone it's still really really nice I'm still taking a few pictures here you know just shooting f8 ISO 50 focusing on the peaks zooming really tight you know on the mountains not including anything of the lake just the peaks and some of the trees in the foreground at the bottom of the mountain 
looks really really nice and this is what I like about using a telephoto lens that it actually can you pick out scenes in the landscape that are really interesting and just zoom in tight on them and just take pictures of that and they look really really nice <sighs> what more can you ask for right beautiful place first day taking pictures Wow, what a day. I kind of wish every day was like this, you know, just traveling, taking pictures. Oh man, I'm really, really happy. So I think I'm just gonna take a few more pictures here with my telephoto lens and leave you with the images that I shot from today. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed them. And if you have any questions about the pictures, do drop me a comment. I'm happy to answer it. Well, thank you everyone for watching, and until next time, cheers. <laughs>